What's up everyone? Welcome to another video of Full Speed Impulse and today we are talking about getting that big bore and your KLX 110 fired up. Now if you're like me, got electric start and all that, we put our big bore in but we also put our TV cam in there which deletes your decompression lever on your pit bike and now she just doesn't want to start as easily as she used to. Now have you guys been staying tuned with us, we've been doing loads of pit bike stuff and upgrades and all that, getting these bikes ready for the springtime. Also, our main bike here, 110L, as our main ripper when we do our pit bike trips and all that. We got some front forks installed on this thing, the TB ones with the uh, heavy duty springs for the 110L that's extended another plus 10 millimeters and all that. So now she's sitting right. But we also finally came in stock, got the old BBR swing arm for this thing with the fancy new rear shock. Just, just doing it guys, getting this thing all dialed in. But today we're talking about the simpler things and that's, that's your old Tusk battery. Got this from old Rocky Mountain here, guys. Lithium Battery Pro. This thing is super duper fancy. Let's get this thing out. Oop. Get out of there. All right. So here's your fancy that dancy battery right here. And old Tusk. I mean, look at this thing. But let's see. Full bars. Got all the strengths. Cold cranking amps. Is up to 130 on this thing which is pretty spicy because i was trying to look and see what our nickel or whatever our standard batteries are in these things and that is like around 80 it looks like i could be wrong someone knows the exact specs but what i looked at i was finding about 88 86 stuff like that all this one here is telling me a solid 130 cold cranking amps which that's a pretty good difference and we're hoping we're gonna be able to tell so simple things guys here we're gonna get this battery installed you know the deal take the seat off under your old battery pull it out recycle get that guy back in there wire it up and we're gonna get this thing and see how she starts up all right so i will say this battery is smaller so it does leave a gap and all that the posts are a little bit different so i'll just show you guys how we have it set up don't mind the extra wiring because that is for our lights that we have so oh yeah do a lot of nighttime riding but anyways so that's how we have our posts and there's foam you could do. You could even take like an old sponge and all that and cut it and stuff it in here just to keep it from bouncing all around and all that. So there's multiple ways you could go upon this. Do how you want to have it set up. We're just gonna be quick about it. We're gonna snip some of this foam off here since this sponge is pretty much on the outs anyways. And then we'll stuff it in there. Actually, you could probably just almost stuff this whole thing in there. And then look at that. Ooh yeah. Now it's nice and firm. And then we also have, let's see. I don't even know if this is gonna fit anymore. All right, we gotta try to figure this out cause this needs to go back on. All right, this should still fit. So, all right, we'll get this rest of this bolted on and all that. And then we'll do our first fire up. All right guys, we gotta go back in our video real quick and add this in. You get a whole pile of foams in that box. I don't know what I was thinking, I just, Totally space it out when we dumped the box out and grabbed the battery and started getting at it. You got a whole thing of foams here with some sticky backs and all that that you could stick in there and pad the whole area in to make sure your battery is nice and snug in there. So there's your options there and all that. You got all these foams here, the weasel in there. We'll probably end up getting back at this thing eventually, pulling that foam out, but since we got the bike all buttoned up already, she is how she is. All right, guys, we are doing first fire up here. Whoa. Yeah. All right, everyone. So as you can see, that Tusk battery is putting in all the work and all that. Spinning over that big bore like it's nobody's business. Running great. So definitely highly recommend. It's not a bad price either. It's about 80 bucks, I think, I paid for that battery. So pretty reasonable, in my opinion. I know, I know you can get ones way cheaper and all that. But when you're out in the woods and all that, doing shenanigans and all that, last thing you want to do is not have your battery and all that. And you're stuck on an incline and you don't have electric start. It is no bueno. So, 
We're gonna rely on this battery right here. It looks like it's gonna do a really good job for us and all that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can check out some of our trips and all that. And we already have plenty of those videos already posted and all that. Also, with a lot of our upgrades that we do on our bike, which a BBR, swing arm install, will be coming here pretty soon. So make sure you guys check that out. I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you later.